Welcome to month four of the TQS block of the month designed by Janet Stone. My name is Julie Cephalou and I have a couple of more tips and tricks for you today for today's block. We've got the letter E and the letter J. The letter E is the eight hands around block and I have it here partially constructed. I'm going to give you a couple of um, tips for squaring up these half square triangle units that are in the corner. And this time I'm going to use the block lock ruler to trim those up. And this ruler is a five and a half inch square and it has a channel on the underside of it that's going to slide right along the seam allowance. Let me get these out of the way of your half square triangle unit. So you can put that in place and you can feel it nest in that seam allowance. The first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that the point of the ruler is resting on the seam allowance. So right now it's not correctly lined up. I need to turn the ruler around like this and put it back in place. And now that now you can see that that point is right on my seam. So I'm going to trim these first two sides. here and across the top. And now I'm going to turn this whole thing around. I'm going to leave that ruler in place. And now I'm going to slide that ruler down. And I'm going to make sure that it measures two and a half inches. So those lines should be on my raw edges. Whoops. And now I can trim the other two sides. Here and here. And now I've got a perfect two and a half inch half square triangle unit. You can also um, use the block lock ruler for the flying geese units in this block. And this is for the two by four inch finished size flying geese. And so I need to trim this down. And again, I'm going to slide that ruler into place so it nests against my seam allowance. And we can trim that up on all four sides, two at a time here. Cross the top and then turn the whole thing around and trim the other two sides. And there you go. So you're going to sew your pieces into rows and when you sew your rows together, I want to show you that um, I use a pin to, um, well first I'm going to match my, my seams here and here, and I pin these. I also like to put a pin right here in the center of this flying geese unit. And when I feed this through my machine, I kind of hold onto that pin, it's like a handle, and I help feed that through my sewing machine. So, some sewing machines have a hard time when they get to these really thick seam allowances and this is just going to help you get a nice straight seam when you um, use that as a handle. Moving on to the next block, we've got the J block. This is Janet's lamb and it's a cute little lamb that you're going to piece together. And this is really simple piecing here. You've got basically a snowball block you're going to applique the lamb's face and ears on and the legs are, are pieced in there as well. And then you're going to work on the top of this block is all applique. And what I have done is taken the pattern that I printed it out and turned it over and traced the design onto the back side. So I'm getting a mirror image of this. I just held it up to the window and traced this with a permanent pen. You really want to be able to see these shapes. And now you've got a placement guide for your applique. So you can take the eight and a half inch background square of fabric and put it on top of this paper. And you can line up the corner right here of your fabric with the sun. And you can see right through where you need to place your pieces. And so I've got a couple more sun rays to put in place. This one goes here. And this one goes here. Actually, we're going to 
and release this paper first, get rid of that. And then I can see right through here where I need to put my star and line it all up. Then you can pick this whole thing up, take it over to your pressing surface and press those in place and you're ready to stitch that down. Here's another little fusing tip for your applique. When you do the sun portion, you can cut out the center of that, leave about a quarter of an inch around the edges, and that will help to reduce the thickness of your applique work. And then you can take this whole piece, once it's pressed down and stitched, you can now stitch that onto the lamb portion and you'll have a completed Janet's lamb. And then next month we will be working on the letters K and L.